I want a strong national defense, but I don't want us to be bankrupt. As we go further and further into debt, we become less and less safe. This is the most important thing we're going to talk about tonight. Marco, Marco, how is it conservative? How is it conservative to add a trillion dollar expenditure for the federal government that you're not because paying for? How is it conservative? How is it conservative to add a trillion dollars in military expenditures? You cannot be a conservative if you're going to keep promoting new programs that you're not going to pay for. And I think that we ought to look where income inequality seems to be the worst. It seems to be worst in cities run by Democrats, <laughs> governors of <laughs> states run by Democrats, and countries currently run by Democrats. So the thing is, let's look for root causes. But I would also say, lay some blame at the, the feet of the Federal Reserve. We also find that as the Federal Reserve destroys the, the value of the currency, what you're finding is that if you're poor, if you make $20,000 a year and you have three or four kids and you're trying to get by, as your prices rise, or as the value of the dollar shrinks, these are the people that are hurt the worst. First thing I would do as president is repeal the regulations that are hampering our energy that the president has put in place. So what we really need is somebody that understands that we do need energy of all forms. And that means we will have solar and wind and hydro, but we will still have coal, but we still will have natural gas. We have to be conservative with all spending, domestic spending and welfare spending. I'm the only fiscal conservative on the stage.